Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Edna and Harvey. Last time, we made it home. So how can we get inside? So this is where I live. It is indeed. Hmm, locked. That's to I be expected. I think my father always hid the key in one of the gnomes. Hmm, hmm. Well, these gnomes look kind of like the uh, goblins from the game, well, goblins. How do you use something that is this useless? Okay. What are you ordering? Three punches in the face? Why are you so angry at the dwarfs? I remember that one of those ugly gnomes had the key for the door. Was it you? You have some bad uh, memories here, don't you? How do you use something that is this? Are you looking at me? Do you want to fight? Okay, well, one of these has the key, and she seems to have some uh, anger issues to sort out, so uh, time for a bit of catharsis. Hmm. I think my father kept the key in one of these gnomes. It wasn't this one. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I but which one can it be? It wasn't this one. Hmm. Hmm. I but which it wasn't this one. I think you know which one it is. You just want to bust them all up. Hmm. But which... It wasn't this one. So, yeah. No matter what you do, you're going to bust them all up before you get to the one in the middle. I guess it's just you and me now, Django. Well, look at that. Here's the key. It's always the one you try last. <laughs> all right. So, we have the house key. Let's open her up. I can hardly wait to be back home. Finally. Oh no! It's broken and stuck in the lock now! But because Pokey loves his puzzles, we're still not inside yet. Okay. What's, what's back here? Wow, how long has this house been... Uh, abandoned? Hey, our old living room is behind that door. Hmm. My old umbrella! It's only genuine if it has 300 holes. Exactly, or more or less? No, no. This one could never be used. Okay. What's further back here? Hmm. This rain barrel is home to a myriad of water fleas. What does it say? Hello? Anybody home? Ahoy! Ciao! Howdy. Aloha. Wow, quite an international crowd in there. <laughs> Let's see. So this is where I live. So we have the back door. Hmm, locked. Still nothing. Hmm. Let's see, there should be something. Aha, here, right here. I can see a lot of tools that might be useful. All right, well, let's go in and grab them. My favorite game was Hunt the Frog. Yeah, Alfred really was afraid of the lawnmower. And with good reason, too. <laughs> hey, I know a certain gnome who bullies your little brother. Grr, I'll run him over. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's see. Let's pick this up, because we can always use a shovel. We have some pliers here, and that's what we need. Lots of other stuff here, too. I often used to play in the leaves with Alfred. Most of the time, we made one big heap. Then we jumped down into it from the shed roof. Alfred never dared! I guess I'll never find out if our plan with the pointy stones would have worked. Edna. <laughs> well, Rake, did you miss me? Uh, well, anyway, let's uh go get that key shard back. Let's see, use pliers with door. Good idea. Great. 
I have the remains of the broken key. Hmm. But it uh, looks like we still can't get in, can we? Hmm. That's too bad. Okay. Well, we have the remains. What are we going to do with that? I don't know. The forest has reached Dunzanane. I can see our kitchen. Wow. <laughs> what Just have to you say? wait. Your days are numbered. Oh, okay. Since the days are numbered, let's uh, get rid of them. Right. This will take care of the weeds. Ah, see, and we uncover something. So this is how it looks from this side. So, uh, can we get in? Oh no, it's jammed. Of On top of it is. everything. Well, a little brute force never hurt. Oh, there we go. It didn't break it, it just kind of opened it. Okay. Ah, remember this place from our first temple morph. Hey, isn't this the wood from the first flashback? Hmm. Hello, you logs. Isn't it a bit uncomfortable in the direct vicinity of a furnace? What? There's a furnace here? Where? Where? Now that's not uncomfortable. That's paranoid. <laughs> I have all these uh, different items. I used to drink that all the time. What? You, you what? <laughs> it was useless ten years ago, and I don't think it's changed much. Hmm. Well, we've pretty much already seen these items from the flashback, so let's just go on upstairs. And here we have the kitchen. A well-aged mushroom soup. Over ten years, in fact. It's the only thing still alive in this house. Hmm. Hello, ten-year-old mushroom soup. I'm back. Welcome home, Edna. It's stirring to see you again. Same here. It's always nice to see a familiar fungus. You have to wonder how long it took to record all these lines, not only in German but in English, and then English had to translate them all. And because it's like you can talk to everything, you can use items on different things, and it somehow works. And like there's a, a separate line for almost Mushroom everything. cropping can wait until tomorrow. You use scissors on that, and there's a separate line just for using scissors. I, uh, I'm sorry, I know this is the last episode, but I'm still amazed by how much detail there is in this game. Like, if I were to explore everything, this let's play would probably be like three times as long. This is where I used to play booger flipping all the time. Booger flipping. How can I ever get everything clean again? Why don't you leave it the way it is? Dirty is fun. You think? If you say so. Let's see, where can we go? Let's go this way. Oh, let's see. So the kitchen, living room. Hmm, wasn't there, isn't there something? Let me go back a second. There should be. So I think. Hmm, I guess not. I thought there was supposed to be another exit from here, but whatever. No, actually, I don't want to. Let's uh, explore downstairs first. I don't want to do too much. Yeah, but there's uh, a lot to this house, it looks like. Oh, this is where I wanted to go. Okay. Except this thing, I want to go to the dining room, but this is the living room. Okay. The old mahogany table. It used to have a beautiful, shiny finish. It is mahogany. Uh, old memes are old. Okay. I remember this painting. It shows the landscape from a cold cuts commercial. From a commercial. And there's the French door, of course. I can see the porch. Well, see is an exaggeration. I can guess it's there because I know that it is. Hmm. Well, don't think there's much to do in here. Let's take a look around.
on at the coats. Dad's coat was ragged even back then. Ah, oh, Edna. Hello? Cloaked in silence. Cloaked in silence, I get it. There's uh, the front door. So what is upstairs? I remember that being much bigger. My father's lighter. Hmm. I'll probably uh, pick that up. My father never allowed me to play with it, but I can't see him anywhere. <sighs> What's that? Hey! This is a picture of me! I think that's kind of sweet. Can we talk to it? Are you trying to tell me something, Edna? Your fault! Your fault! Your fault! Ah, uh, no! Stop that! That was a nice Harvey. That's Mattis's bed. When I was very little, I used to come running in here at night when I was frightened. Yeah, things have gotten very, uh, somber now. So much to look at, but so little time. I don't remember my bathtub being a convertible. <laughs> Bloop. Hmm. Apparently, I'm slowly losing my ability to imitate sounds. Can we use the tub? As soon as I've restored my memory, I'll take a week long bath. All right. I noticed something. This is the classroom. So yeah, we weren't in an actual school in that flashback. We were at home. I guess we were being uh, homeschooled alongside uh, our neighbor here. Hey, I remember now. This was the star in the second flashback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember that being much bigger. Oh, yes. Uh. Uh. Hello? Is anybody in there? No! I, I mean, no. Okay, sorry, Edna. Didn't, didn't mean to do that. All right. So what more is there? There's, uh... Another level up here. I can see the street. Are those red lights flashing in the distance? Uh-oh. You'll never get me! <laughs> hmm. This door hasn't been used in a long time. Let's see, it uh, looks like it's our only way now. Hmm, locked. Oh, well, shoot. So what do we do about that? Well, we do uh, have uh, that house key. I wonder if it works on every door in the house, but we'll need to make a mold of it like we have before. So let's uh, check out what we have. Oh, there was something I forgot to do. Ah, uh, can we go? Okay. There's uh, one little thing I forgot to pick up. So if we go back outside, back through here, and back to the front. We need to pick up these shards here. Maybe he'll be of some use now after all those years of misery. And let's take a look at them. These are the remains of the ugly mail order gnomes. This is where his ugliness got him. See, so notice that they're clay shards. So uh, we'll be putting those to use. So uh, we using an old puzzle here. So uh back on up. Let's 
So now let's uh, wet them down so they can get soft again. I think I could use some mud right now. And it's all mud. Let's make a new imprint of the key. I'll make an impression by pressing the individual parts into the clay. Great! It worked! But of course, uh, now we need to uh, heat up the imprint. Which, of course, there's a furnace downstairs, so we'll finally be putting that to use. This little tour of the house kind of shows you uh, where everything is, and it's not just uh, all there for nostalgia. There is some stuff we, we need to use. So, uh, furnace is open. Luckily, we got that lighter. Let's see what this old furnace can do. I think, I guess there was already wood in there, so that's fine. What worked one time? So, alright, this should be all heated up, and we still have our oven mitts. Luckily, yeah, they take up most of your inventory after that crash, so that makes it useful to know what you still actually need to progress with the game. Alright, so, uh... Let's see, I think there's something I'm still missing. Hmm. I think, oh yeah, we stopped the gold, don't we? Let's say, what do we what have was the complete procedure again? I need something else. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe this will help. So we're just gonna throw the key in there. That wouldn't have been good. I'm terribly sorry about this, but I have to melt down the master key again. So, uh, once again... Doing Children! That. The gold is ready! Good there. idea! I'll pour the gold into the mold! And, uh, we could go upstairs and use the tub, but the quickest way to do that, there's also some water here. And check it out! My own front door key! My father didn't want me to have one. That was to prevent you from escaping your room. After all, the same key fits the lock of your bedroom, too. One key to rule them all. <laughs> nice. All right. And so we can just uh, go this way now. Isn't that nice? It's kind of creepy with all the wind and the rattling and everything. Nice ambiance they put there. And here we are. This really is my old room. I've made it at last. The only thing I need now is my diary. Do you remember where I used to keep it, Harvey? Strange. This memory is still hazy. But I think with all these items here, it should be easy to tempo morph to the past one last time. Oh yeah. We'll just hide the diary someplace where I'll be able to find it in the present. Or we could just have a look at it right away. Even better. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right then. Hang on. <laughs> I can't believe it. What am I doing wrong with you? Putting a lizard down the back of poor Alfred's shirt. Is this the way I raised you? <laughs> right. I can remember that. My dad grounded me. As if this door could ever contain us. We're only interested in the diary, Harv. Mr. Conrad! Mr. Conrad! Great. <laughs> the return of the moron. What's the matter, Alfred? Will you punish Edna now? I was about to do that, yes. She has to be severely punished. 
The monster bit me in the shoulder! I won't be able to play the violin ever again! Rest assured that the punishment will fit the crime, Alfred. I hope so! My dad says your disciplinary actions for reprimanding this hyperactive lunatic Thanks. <laughs> politely put, insufficient. Oh, so that's what he says. We should use a scorpion next time. If you don't mind, I would like to keep watch personally, just to make sure that her full penalty is served. Go ahead. And now come out of here, please. That stinking little weasel. Just ignore him. Let's just try to find the diary. Yeah, everyone knew a kid just like that when they were young. And <laughs> I love this. Check it out. Oh, you can't even uh, target them, but that's the Daedalic symbol, and that is another game from Daedalic. I don't know if uh, Pokey did it or not. I own the game, but I've never played it. Uh, if it's any good, let me know. I mean, I'm going to play it eventually, whether it is or not, but yeah. But we have the diary here. Hey, there's my diary! Well, that's what I call easy! It's not like us to catch a break! Finally, I'll be able to remember! Yippee! Wait a second... When was this murder that my father is supposed to have committed? The Reverend said something about the 3rd of August! According to the diary, that's today! You've temple morphed me back to the day of the murder! Oops! No, no! This is, in fact, very good! Now we can prove his innocence firsthand! We'll just have to find him and never let him out of our sight! Let's get out of here! Finally, we can prove his innocence! Alright, so uh, let's go through the door. Hmm, locked. Can we talk to the door? Alfred? Are you still out there? Edna is grounded! Edna is grounded! Maybe we shouldn't stop this kid from being murdered if his dad did it. Jeez. Hmm, so we can't get out through there, but we have a window here. So, uh, can we... But we can't go through it, so we want to switch over to Harvey here. Who can go through the window, because he can survive that fall, if he did fall. It's a woodpecker. Let's grab that. Let's see what's going on over here. Ah, Alfred. Little prick. Alright. So when I have kids, I am going to raise them specifically not to be like that. Let's just show her Alfred. Isn't Alfred the ultimate slime ball? That irritation of facial mucosa definitely needs a good wiping. <laughs> hey Edna, why don't you do what the woodpecker does? What do you mean? Shall I knock on the door to draw Alfred's attention? Oh, I was thinking you could bash your head against the wall. <laughs> but your plan isn't bad either. Hmm. All right. So, uh, how do we do that? Okay, so, maybe if we... What is it? Come on, Harvey. Trick him a little bit. <laughs> Stop it, or... Hmm? Hey! Where did she go? Did she climb out the window? <laughs> and we can just... Hey! <laughs> look at his face. Okay, we better split up to find Mattis. I'll look upstairs, you look downstairs. And if I find him? You come and get me, of course. All right. Um, Edna? Yes, Harvey? What if Mattis really is a psychotic killer? Don't be ridiculous, Harvey. Mattis couldn't hurt a fly. It was just a thought. I didn't want to admit it to Edna, but I'm a little scared. Are you talking to us? Well, it should be fine. Let's uh, go look for Mattis. What 
Alter. Jeez, that was terrifying, but I can't be. Edna, Edna, Alfred is Edna. upstairs. What's up, Harvey? It's Mattis! He's making soup out of children! I don't know what you mean. I mean exactly what I just said! Mattis is the killer after all! Come on, let's go! But what's going on? I don't understand one single word. But he was here! He was standing at the oven and... Cooking children. Don't you realize how ridiculous that sounds? I... I must have been mistaken. Just go on looking, okay? What's going on here? That's a good question. Oh my gosh! What now? I'm certain this time! Mattis is burning children in the furnace! <sighs> no, he's not, Harvey. Come with me! I'll prove it to you! This is... I don't get it! Are you alright, Harvey? I'm beginning to be more concerned about you. How can I be so mistaken? It's weird how Harvey, who is... A manifestation of her subconscious is going crazy, so the symptom of her insanity is going insane. That's like some Inception stuff right there. Well, anything outside? Can you lift me up a little? Sure. Jeez! <laughs> what is it this time? I... I don't know yet. It was Mattis again. Come on. We'll both have a look. See? There's nothing there. I think we'd better call the whole thing off. It was an exhausting day. I might as well wait till tomorrow to restore my memory. The temple morphing doesn't seem to do you any good. No. I'll manage. Let's keep on looking. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, right here, you actually want to save your game. Not that you can die, but there's a choice you can make. And uh, that choice will, I believe, affect the end of the game. So uh, let me save, and then I'll be right back. Alright, anything over here? Hopefully nothing scary. Oh, come on! What is even happening here? I'm hallucinating! What did you see this time? I saw Mattis with the Prince of Darkness, and they... Wait a second. Are those voices? There really is somebody on the porch. You stay here. I'll go have a look. I think the two of them would make a nice couple. I could well imagine a future for them. Your daughter? My son? Ha! <laughs> One would have to recondition her thoroughly. Edna lacks all respect and is full of defiance. But aren't you on the verge of a breakthrough in the field of... what do you call it? Correction of character. That's exactly what your daughter needs. After one of those treatments, there might still be a way she could... Oh, um, could you excuse me for a moment? What's this all about, Edna? You know full well you're supposed to be in your room. I know, but... No buts. The doctor is right. You're in serious need of a correction of character. Please don't, Dad. I don't want to... We'll speak about this later. Right now, you go back to your room. I'm pretty mad at you, young lady. It's depressing when your father says to you. And by the way, try being nicer to Alfred, will you? Nicer to Alfred? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Shut up, Harvey. It's your fault, after all. What were all those lies supposed to mean anyway? I've been thinking it over. And basically, it's pretty simple. 
It's not my fault at all. I'm just a figment of your imagination, remember? So why wonder if I'm a little... Well, inaccurate every once in a while. Especially when it comes to observations you couldn't possibly have made yourself. Inaccurate is something different to completely and utterly absurd. Are you mad at me now? Oh, Harvey, I can't be mad at you. That wouldn't you? Please, Alfred. I, I'm really sorry. I, I, I've made a resolution to be nicer to you in the future. Stop pretending! You're not the least bit sorry, you little monster. You're completely crazy. Not only do you try to kill me with lizards, you also talk to that ragdoll rabbit. Now you're surprised, aren't you? I read your diary. Harvey this and Harvey that, and Alfred is always the stupid toad, isn't he? But that will soon stop. I'll tell it all to my dad and they'll take that stupid rabbit away from you. They might even lock you up in Dad's asylum with the other loonies. That's where you belong in my book. Edna talks to her ragdoll rabbit. Edna talks to her ragdoll rabbit. Please, Alfred, don't. Help me, Edna! He's hurting me! What'll I do? Push him! What? Push him! Just push him! Push him down the stairs! can remember everything. It was me who killed Alfred. It... it was in the heat of the moment. I couldn't let him take Harvey away from me. Yes, it was you. You killed my son. Your father took the blame to protect you. I promised him that I would take care of you. But I only saw one way of doing that. I tried to create you anew, like a blank sheet of paper on which to start a new story, to erase all your tomfoolery. I nearly succeeded on many occasions, but you always found a way back to your memories. It's only now that I understand the root of the problem. Your ragdoll rabbit, Harvey, he is the anchor that moors you to the past. If you destroy him, you can finally live in peace without guilt. Don't listen to him! He'll destroy everything that is you! All your creativity! All that fun! Look, he's standing in the exact same spot his son was! Just a little push and we'll be free at last! He's the only one who knows of our guilt! Oh no... What will I do? So now you have a decision to make, and this will dictate the end of the game. I don't know which decision is the canonical ending, given that there's a sequel to this game. But what to do? We do what Dr. Marcel says, we give away Harvey, and we give away a very important part of ourselves, but at the same time it was that part that told us to push Alfred down the stairs. So should we... Uh, Get rid of this rabbit and hopefully change ourselves for better or for worse, or do we just push it on the stairs and keep this piece of ourselves intact?
did not go back to the asylum. The police searched for the confused girl for weeks. The search effort was aborted after the remains of a blue stuffed rabbit were found at sea. The keymaster was also never found. Marty went back to the asylum alone. After two weeks without Hardy, he was declared mentally sane and released. Overjoyed, he accepted a job as a bank teller. On the second day, he was shot in a robbery. Oh, I can click that since I... Blider felt an urge to go to the toilet on his way back to the asylum. At the rest stop, he met the love of his life and ran away with her. The player never figured out what hit him. <laughs> That's certainly correct. Don't worry, I will go back and do the other ending, and I'll we'll show that off. But, uh, what's happening now? Nothing's happening. Is there gonna be credits, or...? I believe that's Pokey singing, and I think the song is actually called Edna Breaks Out. Too bad I didn't uh, translate it to English, but that's fine. I don't know if there are any credits or anything. Um, if there aren't, then I'll just uh, meet you back at the other ending. Alright, I'm back here at decision time, and uh, let's do what Dr. Marcel says instead and see what happens. Sorry, Harvey. Back to this. Hmm, well we don't even get any uh, more character biography things. Is there like something that you're supposed to do that triggers those? Like, do you have to like get achievements or something, or were they just randomly there? I, I honestly don't know. I'll have to look that up. Well, uh, that has been uh, Edna and Harvey, the breakout. I really wish I hadn't gone into it blind, because it was a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. Like, a lot. But uh, I don't regret playing the game. It's a good game. This was an amazing game, and uh, I do recommend you know, playing it yourself now that you've seen the Let's Play, you know, especially if you want to see all the cool little uh, dialogue things that can happen. Using everything on everything, talking to everything, writing on everything. 
It's just a great game overall. Some of the puzzles were a bit uh, out there. Some of them were a bit overly complicated. But uh, overall, really good game, great dialogue, great translation. When I looked up reviews for this game, they were mixed and a lot of people were saying it's because the translation sucked. I thought they were amazing. They were, for the most part, spot on. You know, some of them didn't quite make as much sense as they could because they were more direct than some others, but uh, I didn't think it hurt the game at all. It's just the nature of the beast when it comes to translating. So, uh, yeah, that <laughs> this was a great game, and uh, I loved every minute of it. And, you know, what else is there to say? There is, uh, of course, a sequel to this game called Harvey's New Eyes. Which makes me think that killing Dr. Marcel is the canonical ending if Harvey's in the next game. Hmm. But I don't know if there's any more to these endings that I just didn't get, or what. Either way, um, I'll do some research. If uh, I find out anything extremely interesting, I'll do a bonus video, but uh, otherwise, I may just start my Halloween stuff a little bit early, a few days early, because I have a lot of good stuff planned. So uh, let me know what you think, what your favorite part was, uh, what your favorite data like game is, or point-and-click adventure game. Uh, let me know if you have any requests. Uh, look at me up, i am uh, got a page on Facebook, which is the same as my name, TheGamesmith89, which is where I post uh, updates and fun stuff every so often, so look that up. And uh, thank you all for watching, thanks for uh, your help for people who know German or who uh, know this game better than I do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching and have a good day.